show how to make these two lovely Christmas cards today using very little materials um, and very little skill. <laughs> um, but they're both really pretty. Look at this one. I've got Christmas trees. They both use Stampin' Up, nearly all Stampin' Up stuff, um, but not quite. Um, so there's that one. Sorry about the light shine on it. And there's that one. The little bows on the top. They're from last year's Stampin' Up um, Christmas catalogue. Uh, the little embellishments so I'll show you how to do those. Right, so for these two cards then for the green one the green base one what we need is a piece of that gorgeous tartan or plaid DSP uh, which measures four and three quarters by four and three quarters and it can be any um, any any paper you like then we've got another strip that measures um, four and three quarters by one and a quarter and another strip of the same background uh, of the same background paper which measures four and three quarters by three quarters of an inch then we've got a sentiment piece here which I stamped using um, the perfectly played set which measures two and seven eighths by one and an eighth and I've used real red to stamp that and then two of the little Christmas trees that I've stamped again out of one of those lovely gold foiled plates. And then for the other card, we've got the same base from the works. And then what I do is I sacrifice a card to give myself some matching background. So um, I've used the same DSP, this one, and I have cut a triangle which is four and three eighths on this side by five on this side. It ought to actually be the same on each side. But no that's fine. And then this triangle is four and a quarter by four and three quarters and that I punched out the tree from there and I punched out another tree and then I got a little piece of white and this measures two by one eighth and this piece here measures two and an eighth by one and a quarter and that's just to layer that on there okay so we'll make this one first just get some glue and some dimensionals. Are they? Yeah, I've got everything sticking together. So I'm just going to stick this on. Yeah, I thought I had that wrong then. You don't need a lot of Tombow. It's. Um, a really good adhesive and get that really close to the edges of your card smudge that a little bit and then we want this piece just put some a little bit around the tree And then get that right up to the edges. Get right up to this left and the bottom edge and into that corner so that you can't see any peeping out from this side, but you do want to see some peeping out along there. And then we're going to just get mini dimensionals and pop the trees. I do find that these mini dimensionals don't stick as well as their um, bigger counterparts. I'm just going to pop those. In fact, I'm going to put my um, sentiment on first. I'm just going to stick my sentiment to its background and 
and then you get quite a deep edge on the mini dimensionals so I'm just going to use that to stick my sentiment on and I'm going to put that there so it's going across and then I'm just going to use the different sides of the and stick that one there and that one just in front of it there and that's that card done it's a really pretty card like that you can put a little rhinestone in the top as well and what I'm going to use is these from last last year Stampin' Up um, and I'm just going to put a little red little red dot at the top of that tree like that and then I'm just going to put a bow across the top of that Christmas tree there okay and that's that one all done and then for this one it's even more straightforward just going to put some glue on the back down like that and then get this bigger strip put some glue on the back of that which will just go about a centimeter or so from I'm just going to line mine up with that bit of foiling but about a centimeter from the bottom and then that I'm going to Put across there I wonder if that will line up with a so that one's going the other way and then um, my sentiment again I'm going to use some of the end strip To put that on. I'm going to put that in the centre like so and my little Christmas trees I'm going to fix on with mini dimensionals again this time I'm going to use the same side obviously And I'm just going to pop those on there like that. And I'm going to put the little bow at the top again. Of the Christmas tree, that was an old bow. That one's a bit 
in the wrong place. So we'll just get to the right place. There we go. There's a beautiful, two beautiful little cards there. But with this one, I might just do a little bit of falling snow. There we go. And there's two really pretty cards there. Using very little paper and costing very little money. So they'll go in my envelopes. I might pop the green one in this envelope and the red one in the other one. And they'll go into the Ben's Beanies pile. They're beautiful and very easy to make. So thanks for joining me for those. And um, I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.